Hi there, welcome to the new lecture. Within this lecture, we will try to configure Microsoft SharePoint libraries to sync on end user computers. Let's say you have a Teams portal and that you wanted to map it for your end users. So it is very much possible uh, to do with Microsoft Intune. So let's give it a try how to do that with a quick demo. So you could you know open up your endpoint manager and point to your devices configuration um, to the windows and then configuration profile so by using the configuration profile you should be achieved this so let's click on create choose windows 10 or later and templates choose administrative templates so within this you could able to give a proper name so that you could you know easily identify in my case configure team site libraries to sync automatically and the same thing of course you need to you know just search as a configuration item so just filter there as a configure team site look uh, team site libraries to sync automatically that's how you do you know search it so that exact thing will be coming up here so you just open up that uh, configuration and choose here enable what it does it does actually enables the configuration for syncing automatically that specific uh, team site library so it could be any of the team sites but your computer should be at least 1709 and apple so i'm going to enable this configuration but that's not the end in the down you have an option to configure the libraries and the value so i wanted to give you here some small information library a name is something that you want to give it for example if i have help this teams a uh, portal I would you know give it here or my Intune team site then I would you know give it here here the value of the content ID there's a tricky thing that you need to you know get it so how to get it is this is where it is mentioned you need to open up the, in a browser and ask the end users or whoever you know asking this configuration to you know follow these steps to share that library ID okay and I'm gonna demonstrate that don't worry about that so first thing let me show you how the things works in the back end for SharePoint portal so this is my SharePoint portal site all I have to do is simply sync or uh, not the share okay don't forget that if you're thinking that you know I wanted to do it from a share and then you know uh, copy it no that's not gonna work you have to you know, click on sync and for your information you're not syncing what you're doing is you're actually clicking on a cancel but you're actually copying this content library ID so that's what I'm gonna do I'll cancel and copy library ID what it does just you know click on the left click no right click once you click on that left click it just copies to the text to your memory maybe you could you know directly come here and paste that value here and give it a meaningful name here so that's gonna come up in as a name uh, in your OneDrive as a syncing uh, configuration uh, like you know IT help this kind of thing so what I'm gonna do is I'll actually paste this thing in my notepad just to show you, you know how the content ID looks like maybe the library so let me oops I think I need to go to what wrap uh, oops and a view of, so if I just go to the home and see that's a tenant ID and uh, click on wall wrap so that you could see the entire thing so that's the entire content ID. you don't need to you know, take any of the parts of that take as it is because you just copied it it's in still memory I wanted to show you how it looks like that's why I paste it here so let me paste it here as it is Ah, the name what is the best name that I can think about it here uh, for that team side let's say if that team side is maybe help desk just give that help desk name so a friendly name it is just the to identify what is that library name so I'm gonna give a friendly name just give I as ID help desk that's all and then scope I'm not going to configure any scopes now I have to assign this to a specific users group where I can you know test and demonstrate to you so I have created a group called SharePoint dry mapping demo I would like to you know apply a filter for only to apply for corporate devices and I can you know apply that you all know that filters otherwise you can check out the filters lecture which is in my library that's all and uh, it's ready so all I have to do is go to the end user computer wait for a couple of hours uh, it is mentioned as you know anywhere from 17 hours time to take it to you know come up but to be frank with you it came for me to come up as it is uh, within five minutes time so 
the tricky part what I've done is I went to the info and sync on it so if you are not able to sync there is you know, depends on time anywhere from four hours to depends on the policy uh, you should be able to sync and get that information so you see here after post syncing I got as a party with the help desk all of that content which is coming which was there in my uh, teams portal side that excel file and the folder all of that stuff is getting synced that's how you should be able to do it I hope this entire lecture is useful for you and let's have a look on finally the installation status I don't think so it will come up that much of a quick but if you look at the uh, results from the configuration you should be able to see one mission as a successful thank you for watching this we'll catch you in the next lecture